one of the most fascinating places I have ever visited was the Canade Head Lighthouse. Uh, it was originally constructed as a castle. And then in 1787, a large lamp was added to the top, making it Scotland's first lighthouse. As time passed, the castle structure began to fail and it was Robert Stevenson that engineered a foundation that enabled a spiral staircase to run up through the centre and create the lighthouse. So effectively making a lighthouse within a castle. When it was decommissioned and the new lighthouse was built at Canade Head, the original was retained and the Museum of Scottish Lighthouses was constructed on the nearby site. Both the lighthouse and the lighthouse museum are interesting to visit. Uh, the tour of the lighthouse is unusual in that uh, they take you up the spiral staircase uh, they show you all the different rooms and uh, it's still kitted out in 1970s style, which was when it ceased training lighthouse keepers. But uh, then you get to the top floor, or that's what you think. There's then a standard ladder that runs up through a hatch and you're allowed to go up there onto the platform where the winding mechanism which still works, is operated for you to see. You can then squeeze through the little door and out onto the viewing platform. And you have an amazing view over Fraserburgh, Canade Head and the surrounding countryside and coast. You can visit the engine room and then the outer areas, including the fog horn and... Uh, you can read all about how it was constructed and more about Kinney's head. And then, of course, you get to go and do the Lighthouse Museum tour afterwards. And that uh, houses a great collection of all the redundant lamps from various lighthouses around Scotland. And uh, also looks at the life and work of lighthouse keepers and has a collection of memorabilia and equipment and tools that would have been used. There's also a small gift shop area and a large car parking area outside. And it's just off the town centre in Fraserburgh, really easy to get to.